here she comes again. Just two months have gone by since Hillary Clinton left the State Department, saying she wanted to finally enjoy life as a private citizen. But it didn't take long to get her out of the sweats and back into the spotlight. On Tuesday evening, she's set to make her first official speech since leaving public life. On Friday, she'll headline a women's event in New York, and later this month, a housing event in Dallas, her first paid speech for an undisclosed sum. In June, she heads to the Economic Club of Grand Rapids in Michigan. She's no less interesting to people now than she was two years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, or 20 years ago. Of course, those close to her say despite her pledges to take it easy, she prefers to stay busy. I am very proud to have been Secretary of State. I will miss you. I will probably be dialing ops just to talk. <laughs> but her rollout as a private citizen has all the makings of an agenda. A few years ago, Bill and I celebrated as our own daughter married the love of her life. And I wish every parent that same joy. That video, despite promising this just weeks ago. You know, I am out of politics right now, and I don't know uh, everything I'll be doing. But it seems like no one really believes her. Is it really a coincidence that around the same time she's making her first big outing, the Ready for Hillary pack launched? On staff is a group of fundraisers, some who worked for her first presidential bid and others tied to her big donors. But despite some evidence to the contrary, Hillary's top spokesman insists that she really is undecided about running for president. It looks like what was a definite, I'm not going to do this again, has changed. And she's 50-50, so we hear, from some people around her. Yeah, I, I would like to meet these folks because they seem to know more than she does. And I, I think people aren't just getting ahead of themselves, they're getting ahead of her. Um, it really, 60 days has been the blink of an eye. We're talking about an election that's 1,300 days away. For now, the public protests have left her potential opponents in limbo. Other Democrats are tiptoeing around their intentions to run, and Republicans are unsure of when they can start attacking her. Until then, you can bet Hillary Clinton will keep dancing around the idea of whether or not she'll run for president again. Now, Republicans tell me they're very concerned about a potential Clinton coronation in 2016. And, Jake, there's a new super PAC out called America Rising that's going to be dedicated over the next few months even to collect research on some of these potential Democrats. But their first order of business is going after Hillary Clinton. So they're going to be getting this research together to define her and engage her before she can even put a campaign in place. And it's only 2013, so starting early. My God, super PAC already against her.